It's like a spreading the angel of love to everywhere, every corner in the hospital. It started with one donation to a local hospital, and now it's grown into a bond between two groups. In this Positively San Diego story, ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pizzetti shows us how some angels are watching over the staff at Sharp Chula Vista. Every piece is sewn with a purpose. Every cut is made with care. For the North American Taiwanese Women's Association, helping is what they do. Okay, we're making caps, and this is the result of the caps. Chunmei Carol Lin says her group steps up whenever there's a disaster. This time, it's a pandemic. Su Xiao. I'm very proud to be Taiwanese. Is part of the staff at Sharp Chula Vista and helped connect the two groups. The Taiwanese women started with the delivery of caps to the hospital, and the reactions to their work was priceless. Now, deliveries come to Sharp Chula Vista every two weeks and more than 1,000 caps have been made. We thought it was maybe a one, two time thing, but here we are months into COVID and we're still getting donations from these hardworking ladies every other week. At Sharp, Leslie and Melinda show a picture of the creators as they hand deliver the caps to different floors. We always make it a point to put the ladies' pictures on the front of the cart so that people can see who the caps came from. Then every single time, send a photo of the recipients back to the creators. Thank you. We love seeing those smiles from the medical professionals and we feel like we are really doing something for them because they work so hard for the community. So it's fitting that after months of the back and forth, a nickname should arise. We always say, you know, send the, our love with our cap. So they say, you guys are angels, you know, the, from then on, they call us sewing angels. Angels who show their support through sewing. They are the angel too. Leah Pizzetti. Passing out the love. ABC 10 News. And the blessing. It's not just the caps that these Taiwanese women have made. They've also donated about $40,000 in PPE to the hospital. They say right now they don't have any plans to stop sewing caps and will keep making them as long as there is a need.